No matter which airline you choose, they always ask you to put your device in flight mode before takeoff. But why is this and what could happen if no one did it? In this video, we're going to answer both these questions, so please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. The main reason they ask you to put your device in flight mode is radio interference. Radio interference can occur when the electromagnetic signals emitted by electronic devices interfere with radio frequencies used by aircraft communication and navigation systems. Let's look at that in a bit more technical detail. Let's start with frequency bands. Aircraft communication and navigation systems operate on specific frequency bands. Frequency bands refer to different ranges of frequencies used for various types of communications. Think of it like different lanes on a highway or motorway. In terms of wireless communication, frequency bands are like those lanes. They are specific ranges of frequencies that devices use to send and receive signals. Each frequency band has a set of frequencies assigned to it. Different frequency bands are used for different purposes. For example, cellular networks use specific frequency bands for voice calls and data transmission, while Wi-Fi networks use different frequency bands for wireless internet connectivity. Allocating different frequency bands helps ensure that different devices can communicate without interfering with each other. Much like vehicles on separate lanes of a motorway, following different speed limits to stay safe and avoid accidents. The VHF, or Very High Frequency Band, is commonly used for air traffic control communication. As we've mentioned, electronic devices, including smartphones, tablets and laptops, also utilise various frequency bands for wireless communication, such as cellular networks. If a device on board uses the same frequency band as the aircraft or air traffic controller using, this could cause the pilots to lose contact with air traffic control or hear static or low quality audio when receiving audio from them. Any of these things occurring could cause pilots to misunderstand crucial information such as when they're clear for takeoff or landing. Electromagnetic signals from electronic devices being in the same frequency band as the aircraft can affect more than just audio communication with the ground. Aircraft encompass a wide range of onboard electronic systems, including flight management computers, autopilots, and electronic displays. Electromagnetic interference can potentially impact the operation of these systems, leading to malfunctions or erroneous readings. This can lead to countless dangers while in the air. So how does putting our device on flight mode stop these risks? When you switch your device to flight mode, it turns off the cellular radio, preventing your device from connecting to the cellular network. This eliminates the possibility of your device emitting or receiving signals that could interfere with the aircraft's communication systems and significantly reduces the electromagnetic emissions from your device. While it's fairly unlikely that one device alone could cause issues or interference, if everyone on the plane ignored the advice, it could cause some serious issues. Do you make sure you turn your device to flight mode when traveling? Please do subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.